Whoa. What is that? Starlings. Starlings. Hello, Starling. Hello, Starling. <laughs> How do you compare? How do you compare the beauty that is an 85 on a 7D as a street photography camera? The beautiful, magnificent Canon 7D with the three modes switch at the top that just is just so helpful and so wonderful and so makes life so easy. You know, I always saw this as the pinnacle when it came to the way I shoot and the kind of gear that I use, that I would never really get anything more professional than the Canon 7D because it is like, it's tough. It's a workhorse. It's got that burst rate that's just so blazing, you know, on the street. It's just so, it's so great. So imagine when now I've come onto this one, I've actually upgraded to the Canon 5D Mark II that I got uh, used, obviously but for a really great price, yeah? I've always thought about and wondered about going full frame. I'd heard the talk, I'd seen the movie on YouTube, obviously. Many photographers speaking about it over the years. Oh, full frame, full frame, full frame, full frame. You ain't gonna know until you go full frame. And in the back of your mind, it sets up this, this seed if you're a photographer or a videographer, that you can put it off <laughs> for a while, but sooner or later, you're going, hmm, I wonder what. So anyway, that seed sprouted poof, in the back of my mind and I saw this 5D Mark II in the used shop, as I said, for a great price. And I thought, I think it's time to give it a go to see what all this hype is about. Is it hype or is it gas or is it, what is it? Let's find out. So anyway, here we are, 5D Mark II. I've got my 35, my beloved 35 millimeter 2.0 on it. And let me tell you now from Jump Street, it is absolutely amazing. The difference between the 7D, which is a crop sensor, and the 5D, even though it's a Mark II, which means it must be about 10 years old or something, the difference is astounding. It's shockingly amazing. 7D is good, but the 5D, man, boy. That extra space that you get on the sensor which means your 35 mil is now 35 mil, or your 85 mil is 85 mil. This feels tight now. When I put a 35 on a crop, it feels tight, man. And even because of the crop factor on the Canon, which is 1.6, I believe, if I got my maths right, when you put a 24 mil on a 7D, it's supposed to be around 35. But when I put a 24 mil on the 7D, the 35 on the full frame is still wider. It's still more space. It is just, it's huge. As small as it is, it's huge. Trust me. I've been shooting with this now for about a month, month and a half, and I absolutely love it. It has changed the way that I see things. It has changed my mood in terms of shooting low light. This is now, I call it a full-time camera. 70, it's not so great in low light. You can get away with it if you've got the right lens on, like this is a 1.8, 85, 1.8, so you can get away with it, but the noise on there, it's not bad, but it's not like this. Boy, trust me, 
trust me, I was concerned about going for uh, a camera that's so old, but this machine here is my new baby. A 5D2 is my new baby. I never leave home without it. Oh my God. Difference is amazing. Difference is astounding. If you're thinking about taking that leap from crop to full frame, trust me, make it happen. If you can get a good deal like I got a good deal with this, I had to sell my, um, my 50D, my first DSLR, which was hard, because you know I don't like letting go of gear, I like to hold on to them till I'm drowning in DSLRs. But I had to make a decision because um, I use my 70Ds, I still have them, my crops has one here. There's another one I use when I'm filming, I like to use two cameras. So I've got two 70Ds for filming and two DSLRs for photography. The 7D now and the 5D Mark II. Is it an upgrade? Is it a downgrade? Uh, comparing the two, the 7D and the 5D, the focusing system on the 7D makes the 5D Mark II look like it's not trying. I think there's, was it nine focusing points on the 5D Mark II? Having said that, I only really ever use one when I'm <laughs> doing photography. This has got, is it 19? And the 70D as well, 19. So the, both of the, these cameras, the 70D and the 7D, put the 5D Mark II to shame when it comes to focusing ability. But everything else on the 5D is just way superior. As I said, full frame, the low light ability, burst rate on here is pathetic, actually. It's, it's pathetic. How often do you use burst? <laughs> If you're a person who uses Burst a lot, obviously, you're going to stick with the 7D. But it's nice to have both of them. You know, you've got an opportunity. You've got an option. You can have your 5D in one hand and burst along with your 7 if you need to. And then switch over to your 5. And you're going to get that low light. You're going to get that, that beautiful full frameness. Even the bokeh, the bokeh off the 5D, you know, is so much more creamy, so much more shallow. I mean, I heard it said, but until you test it, until you try it for yourself, it's just words. And a lot of things online, it's just words. So, get that 5D, get that full frame feeling, get that full frame energy, get that full frame vibe. Listen to that. Listen to that, it sounds a bit <laughs> old school machiney, but it does the job. The image is coming off of this old camera. Wow, I'm really impressed. I am really impressed. So when I think about all those guys going on about new cameras and the latest, it makes me wonder, what are they talking about then? Because this camera is about 10 years old, if not more. But for what I do, for me, this is perfect. I never want to leave home without it. I'm still going through trials with it, with all my new, all my old lenses, because all my old lenses are now like new lenses, so I've got to, you know, get used to how they look when attached to a full frame body, because I'm used to the, the crop frame angle of view that you get with, you know, with this body. So now it's like I've got a new body, but I've also got new lenses. That's what it feels like. It's amazing. It's wonderful. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to be testing it, giving it, really running it, putting it through its paces. And we'll be back, God willing, yeah, with the results of the analysis, the full frame analysis. Keep it tuned. Oh yeah.